Welcome to part 14 of this rating run on chess.com where I will play rapid games of 15 minutes with a 10 second increment and you can follow along as we play this game. All right, let's find a player. Okay, we have black and white plays e4. So should we play safe or play... Let's attack with c5, Sicilian defense. All right, I'm probably gonna play the Nidorf, which uh, you probably shouldn't play, because even, I mean, it's fun to play, but even, uh, Masters have trouble with it. Okay. All right. What should we try here? How about the knight attacking? All right, so he's forced to respond as we have a bishop and a knight both attacking. So what will he do? If he captures our knight, we don't mind that because it pulls that B pawn in towards the center and can help us possibly push this D pawn to D5, which is something... Uh, that usually helps free up Black's position a little bit in the Sicilian defense. And so um, his best move, I'm not sure if it's maybe to retreat that knight to uh, b3 maybe. But then we can attack his bishop next possibly. All right, what will he try next? All right, so he does capture, so we want to recapture. That pulls our pawn in to help fortify our position in the center there. So that just helps us out. Okay, so now he is attacking. All right, so let us block up. Well, we could attack his bishop. Now ah, we'll go ahead and do it. We'll just play d5. Okay, so he has retreated. Now what? We should bring our queen over. Bring our queen over. We could attack here. We could bring our queen to b6 and attack there. Um, let's see. Let's see. We could bust up his pawns there, which is a possibility by trading off one of our bishops, but I don't know. I think maybe Hmm. Well, if we bring our queen here, he could just attack us and threaten to jump in there. So maybe we just mess up his pawns here. 
So I think that'll work. We'll just do that. Trade pieces off since we have a little better position. I probably shouldn't have given up my uh, bishop pair, and that was my good bishop. So now this bishop is kind of trapped. All right, so let's see here. Let's see. Um, Do we take control here? Um, we could jump over here and attack. That is a good possibility. I think we'll do that. We'll attack that pawn and okay so he has captured there we can capture okay all right so here we can just Go there, fortify that d5 pawn. All right. And let's see. Now We'll go here. Now, hmm, we could just move. We'll do that. Okay, so now he's threatening that. What should we try? We'll just go there. Now it looks like we can just go there. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Okay, we don't want to capture that with the bishop because then he could just pin us. Um. So, do we back up? Ah, uh, why not? Why not just...
Huh. All right, that kind of put us in a little predicament. Okay, I think he, hmm, is that a mistake or not a mistake? If he captures, we capture, he can go there. All right, sorry I haven't been uh, talking here. Let's see, how do we want to play this? Let's go there, try and bring this bishop out. All right, I think I can get over here.
Come on, stupid mouse. Uh, all right. Come on. Get over there. All right. Huh. Looks like we could just capture that. Do we do that? Okay, so now he's left me with an option. I can just capture that pawn for free there. But then he could block me in. I should probably run with this pawn though. Okay. All right. So now Hmm. Okay. So I have the advantage here with this extra pawn. How should I use it? Um I'm thinking do I just capture over here? Um, should I move forward? Let's see. I could just move down here. Move to here. Maybe try that. Or do I leave my bishop there attacking this? Do I just capture that pawn? He captures that one, but that's a good advantage, this past pawn. Hmm. So another option is if I move here to b3, keep an eye on this past pawn, and threaten to come down here to I could threaten to come down here and attack his bishop and this pawn. If he captures, I capture. He captures that. I capture here. Then he moves over. Then I can swing over this way. All right, so, or do I just go for this right here? I think we'll do that. So that move threatens to cut off his bishop. And then we'll have two passed pawns. We'll be able to pick off this pawn. Uh, now he just gave us that and this is protected now. Okay, do we just capture there or capture this way? Or do we just move our king up? We'll just move our king up into position. Just improve our king. All right, we should have this game now. Um, okay. Let's see. Normally you want to push this advanced pawn. So. Uh, 
that looks to be what we want to do here. So push that pawn forward, then we'll have two passed pawns. All right. And Okay, how do we want to do it? Capture with the king or the bishop? Or do we just make another passed pawn over here? Why not just make another passed pawn? All right. And he resigned there. He didn't want to fight both of those past pawns. And they were pretty far apart. I mean, he could sacrifice his bishop for one of the pawns. And I don't know, he wouldn't be able to stop the other one. All right. Uh, let's do a quick game review. And let's see. All right, sorry, I got so focused on the game, I wasn't commentating pretty good. Oh, I got 92.9 versus 85.9. So we both played pretty solid. Um, start the review, smooth. You had the advantage from start to finish, okay. All right, so the last, excuse me, book move was bishop to e7. All right, then bishop captured on c3, which was an inaccuracy. So let's look at what would have been best. Yeah, that, that was a good bishop that I gave up for that knight. So... I agree with that. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, maybe better would have been to castle. Um, hmm. Yes, maybe castling would have been better. I overlooked an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. So maybe put my rook on this B. Well, then he could uh, could try to attack it, but then I could move this. I'd have to move it here. So maybe just castling. So castling is best. Castling develops the rook while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. All right, so next we had uh, this queen move. So if I retry that, that queen move was an inaccuracy. Okay, so I guess I should have just moved that bishop. Hmm, moved the bishop up here to c6, possibly. Um, So that's probably the only other move is here, but then it could be attacked, but I could castle uh, maybe here, 
Bishop to c6 is best. It moves the bishop to safety. All right, next is rook to c8 is a great move. You activate your rook by moving it off its starting square. There was only one good move, and you found it. You prevented your opponent from being able to win a queen. All right, so... Yes, yeah, so I guess I waited too long to castle in this game. That's also a problem. <laughs> that got me into some trouble there. All right. King to c7 is a great move. You evade the check from the rook. There was only one move that worked, and you played it. Okay, so there. Okay, that was an inaccuracy. You had a chance to play something better. So what would have been better here? Oh, probably G, G5, locking that pawn up there, like stopping this pawn, which is blocking his bishop. Yeah, probably G5 is better. Unless there's something better. G5 or maybe H4, uh, probably G5. Uh, G5 is a mistake. You had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal, so it did not like that. All right, let's retry that. So, it's either moving this to try and get my bishop out, or going this way. Maybe pushing that forward. Uh, I don't know. It's thinking it doesn't like that either. All right. Must be this move. A5 is best. All right. So that is the move. Which. Huh. I don't know why that would be so great. I mean, he could go. Well, he can't. Okay, I see. He can't move his bishop or I just take this. So. Yeah, I got to go. The, all right. I think I ended up doing that later, but uh, that makes a lot of sense because the bishop is stuck guarding. And then I can just swing up here. And, well, he ended up going here. So then if I swing up here, he can stop me from going there. And I would have to swing around this way, which I think might be what happened in the game anyway. All right. So we move on. Okay. All right, so bishop to c2 is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. All right, and so he just... All right. Okay, well... Uh, that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this rating run on chess.com. And uh, hopefully you found the move, the better moves uh, and found them, you know, and would have played this better than I did. So still just trying to get this rating up. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave comments or suggestions. And also... Remember to uh, leave comments and vote for the upcoming 150th video on who you think is the greatest chess player of all time. And then whoever uh, receives the most votes will do a game review uh, that involves that player that everybody feels is the greatest of all time. Thank you and have a great day.